Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Funda family. In this video, I will solve one very interesting problem based on controllability and observability using Kalman's test. In my last video, I have solved one very simple question based on controllability and observability. In this video, I will increase little bit complexity with the question. So let me read the question first. See here we need to check controllability and observability of the system. Also, we need to compute number of controllable and observable states for given system. So here we have matrix A, B and C and based on matrix A, B and C, we can identify controllability and observability. First of all, we need to identify controllability matrix to check controllability of the system. Let me explain how to identify it. See, controllability matrix is Q of C and order of controllability matrix that is based on matrix A. Here matrix A is 3 cross 3 matrix. So Q of C that will be also 3 cross 3 matrix. What it means? It means with given system we have in total 3 states. Now we need to understand how to identify Q of C. See Q of C calculation that is as per matrix B then AB then a square b here if you observe we have 3 cross 3 matrix so we need to have b a b and a square b now let me explain how to identify this if you observe here we have matrix b that is given to us so first of all you need to take that matrix b as it is that is 0 4 and 0 now we need to identify a b so a b that is a multiplication of A and B. So this first element that will be multiplication of this row with this column. So that will be 0 into minus 1 plus 4 into 1 plus 0 into 0. So that will be plus 4 over here. Now this element that will be this row into this column. So that is 0 into 0 plus 4 into minus 1 plus 0 into 0. So that is minus 4 over here. And this element that will be this column into this row. So that is 0 into 0 plus 4 into 0 plus 0 into minus 2. So that will be 0. Now we need to understand a square b calculation. That I will do it over here first. See, first of all you need to identify a square and then multiply b with it. So what is a square? See a square is 3 cross 3 matrix, right? So here a square is this row into this column that will be this element. So this row into this column means minus 1 into minus 1 plus 1 into 0 plus 0 into 0. So that will be plus 1 over here. Then this second element that will be this row into this column. So that will be minus 1 into 1 plus minus 1 into 1 plus 0 into 0. If you solve it, then that will be minus 2 over here. Then this element that will be this row into this column. So that will be 0 into minus 1 plus 0 into 1 plus minus 2 into 0. So that will be 0 over here, right? Now we need to identify this element. So that will be this row into this column. So 0 into minus 1 plus minus 1 into 0 plus 0 into 0. So that will be 0 over here. Then we need to identify this element. That is this row into this column. So 0 into 1 plus minus 1 into minus 1 plus 0 into 0. So that will be plus 1 over here. Then we need to identify this element that is this row into this column. So that is 0 into 0 plus 0 into minus 1 plus minus 2 into 0. So that will be again 0. And then we need to identify this element that is this row into this column. So that will be 0 into minus 1 plus 0 into 0 plus 
minus 2 into 0 so that will be again 0 then we need to identify this element that is this row into this column so that is 0 into 1 plus minus 1 into 0 plus minus 2 into 0 so that will be again 0 now we need to identify this element that is this row into this column so that will be 0 into 0 plus 0 into 0 plus minus 2 into minus 2 that will be 4 so this is a square matrix into b that we need to do so b is 0 4 and 0 now this multiplication that is a square b over here right so now i'll explain you calculation of this multiplication so this first element that is this column into this row so that will be 0 into 1 plus 4 into minus 2 plus 0 into 0 so that will be minus 8 over here then this second element that is this column into this row so that is 0 into 0 plus 4 into 1 plus 0 into 0 that is plus 4 over here then this element that is this row into this column so that will be 0 into 0 plus 4 into 0 plus 0 into 4 that will be 0 so that is how we have identified controllability matrix and from controllability matrix we need to identify rank of this matrix qc to identify rank of q of c first of all we need to identify magnitude of q of c if you identify magnitude then here we have one row that is zero so directly you can say magnitude is zero as here magnitude is zero you can say rank of q of c that is not equals to order of q of c hence you can say system is uncontrollable now we have system that is not controllable so we need to identify how many states are controllable over here if you observe the question then we need to compute number of controllable states right to identify number of controllable states first of all we need to find sub matrix if you talk about sub matrix of q of c then that will be having order that is m minus 1 cross m minus 1 here m is 3 right this is 3 cross 3 matrix so here if you talk about this order then that will be 2 cross 2 right so that is how we have sub matrix now here there will be so many sub matrix like you see this is one sub matrix that is of 2 cross 2 this is another one this is another one this is another one but here we need to take only one sub matrix which is not zero so if you observe this sub matrix right let us say that is QCDS then that is 4 minus 8 minus 4 4 and if you talk about magnitude of this then that is 16 minus minus 8 into minus 4 that is 32 so that is minus 16 and that is not 0 as if any sub matrix is not 0 then you can say rank of QC that is rank of sub matrix and here rank of this sub matrix is m minus 1 so we can say rank of q of c that is m minus 1 means that is 3 minus 1 that is 2 so based on rank of q of c we can identify controllable states controllable states are rank of q of c right and here we have rank that is 2 so you can say here we have two states that is controllable and one state is uncontrollable. Now we need to see observability. See to identify observability, first of all we need to identify observability matrix. See observability matrix that is Q0 and that is having order of M cross M. If you talk about observability matrix over here, then basic calculation of observability matrix that is matrix c then ac then a square c here we have observability matrix that is having order m cross m and m cross m is 3 cross 3 as per a right so here we have 3 cross 3 matrix that's why observability matrix that is c ac and a square c 
Now based on C and A, we can identify this. So here we have A that is this and C that is this. Based on that, let me explain calculation of it. Here, if you observe matrix C, so that is 1, 1, 1. So I'm writing 1, 1 and 1. Now we need to identify A into C means multiplication of A and C. If you observe this first element, then that will be this row into this column. So that will be minus 1 into 1 plus 0 into 1 plus 0 into 1. So that will be minus 1 over here. Right. Then this second element that will be this row into this column. So that is 1 into 1 plus 1 into minus 1 plus 1 into 0. So that will be 0 over here. And then this third element that will be this row into this column. So that is 0 into 1 plus 0 into 1 plus minus 2 into 1. That will be minus 2 over here. And then we need to identify a square c for this row. If you observe a square, so that I have already calculated over here. So this is a square. So let me take it again. Now I will perform a square into c. So this first element that is this row into this column. So that will be 1 over here then this element will be this row into this column. So that will be minus 2 plus 1 that will be minus 1 over here. And then we have this third element that is this row into this column. So that will be plus 4 over here. Right. Now to identify observability, we need to understand rank of Q0 and rank of Q0 that one can identify based on magnitude of Q0. Magnitude of Q0 that will be 1 into 0 into 4 minus minus 2 into minus 1 that will be minus 2 minus 1 into minus 1 into 4 that is minus 4 minus minus 2 into 1 that is plus 2 and then plus 1 into minus 1 into minus 1 that is 1 minus 0. So if you solve this, then you will be getting minus 2 minus minus plus 2 plus 1. So that will be plus 1 over here, right? So if you observe this magnitude, that is not 0. If it is not 0, then you can say system is observable. As if system is observable, then how many states are there with this? There are three states, right? Means three states are observable. And there is no state which is not observable, right? So here, if you observe, this system is observable, but it is not controllable. If you observe the calculation, then here, two states are controllable, right? One state is uncontrollable, but all three states are observable. What it means? It means from the output, we can identify three states of the system means it is observable. But here only two states are controllable. One state is not controllable. And for that, you need to understand all this calculation pattern, which I'm explaining. Always remember, first of all, you need to identify controllability matrix, right? And after identification of it, you need to identify magnitude. If it is zero, then you can say system is not controllable. Then to identify controllable states, we need to identify rank. And if you observe calculation of rank, then here we identify submatrix first, where we need to check whether submatrix element is zero or not. If it is zero, then you can say this submatrix rank that is number of controllable states, right? And remaining are uncontrollable, right? And observability matrix that we need to identify as per this calculation. And again, we need to do same practice. So this is how we can proceed for a calculation of controllability and observability. I hope you have enjoyed this. Still, if you have any confusion, just place that in comment section. I'll be happy to help you. Thank you so much for watching this video.